How is the feedback with the latest shoot? With the? Latest shoot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it, it's good. This one. Yes. We are the same person, guys. We're the same. This is the package. Same person. Different flavor. Different flavor. <laughs> It reminds me of that Craig David song, what's your flavor? Tell me what's your... Yes, these are all parts of me and I love that I can express them right now. It's been a long time coming. I think even in the previous one I did, um, this black and white one, which I really, really loved this one as well. Um, and Babu talks about it, I talk about it. It, it. it was the timing. It could never have been any other time except this time, to feel ready and express myself in all the ways. I have so many sides to me, creatively, professionally, um, as a woman, as all these different facets live within me. So now nah, the feedback has been good. I know somebody thought I was pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Announcement, I'm not pregnant. Like, I know you have been planning for this for a long time. Um, planning for a baby? For, no, for the shoot. <laughs> For the shoot. Yeah, I have. Yeah, like what made it easier and... Why know, now? It, yeah. I think it's a matter of evolving and being comfortable enough in my skin to say, I want to explore, I want to... And it's not just the shoot. I feel like I'm, I'm sensing that all around me in the way I'm working, the way I'm handling um, relationships and friendships and work, ETC. It's a big age thing, Moss. In my big age, I really did not think I would feel as liberated, it's still early days, but as in my skin as I do now. And actually, I remember using the hashtag in my skin. And I think a lot of things align when they're meant to, how they're meant to. And when it does, it just clicks. For somebody who could be in their 20s or 30s or 40s and 50s, for me, it was in my big age. That is what, that is what, I'm discovering very many things, Moss, in my big age. A simple thing like break up in a breakup, that the other person, it's about where they are at, at that point in their life, and not wanting to bring you into that mess. Sometimes it has very little to do with you, but the lights start to flicker, something starts to change. And previously, somebody can immediately be like self-blame, maybe part of it is you, a lot of the time, it's where they're at. So it, it's not something I could have seen before or realized before, but it's more like, oh, I actually need to step back and let you figure you out. That is a big age realization. And I'm not saying, I still believe that some, some seasons of relationships and some relationships are worth fighting for if it's healthy. People go through things, anxiety, depression, um, and depending on where you're both at in your mind, you can work through it together, right? Like, I'm all, I'm all for working things through, mm -hmm. but not for diminishing yourself in order for you to, to make things work. What have you learned in your big age? Are you even big age? Well, yeah. Big age is relative, guys. It's relative. It's relative. <laughs> it's relative. But this is the biggest age I have ever been. That's funny. That's so good. <laughs> I'm like, I can only speak from the age I'm at right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. In my big age, mm. as big as it is, mm -hmm. I've come to realize that midlife crisis is not about doing what you missed as a young person, mm. but it's about finding solution. Yeah, because a lot of people look at a midlife crisis and sometimes it does project as trying to be, trying to do the things you didn't when you, you were younger. When you were yeah, younger. but a lot of the time... It's not that. It's not. It's about coping with the losses. Wow. Uh, it's about coping with uh, mm. changes mm -hmm. and the responsibilities that come with midlife. Why? Some friendships are for a season and, and there are some crises that will require your solo effort. That's when you get the most responsibilities as a parent. You'll have kids you're looking after, um, a partner who you have to assist in solving issues. And it all comes at and once. it all comes at once. That's a very powerful thing to say and to validate for a lot of people, because I feel like a lot of people are dealing with a midlife crisis, um, but they can't put a name to it. And it can be so overwhelming. There's times in my life when I'm like, this is a lot to deal with. And there's a lot happening at the same time Nobody really gave me an indication that this was part of the package, but here I am and I have to figure it out. And it's a midlife crisis and hopefully what happens is you can steer out of it if you're determined to say, 
Let me get the tools. The problem is when you're in the midlife crisis and you stay in it, it means you and everyone around you suffers. Yes. And I think what we interpret as midlife crisis mm. are very symptoms yeah. of the main crisis. So I'll be led to do things that I missed out as a way of comforting myself and reminding me of younger days. <laughs> No, it's true. I'm just thinking about what you're saying. <laughs> That's a very big age yeah. revelation. It's true. Yeah. There's a lot of things that come to you later. Like how many people know that morning after pills won't work if you've already started ovulating? Okay, some people might be like, duh, Janet. There's a lot about our bodies and our minds and our health that you realize much later. And that's why I have a problem with censorship or the muting of conversations and campaigns that would have worked so much more efficiently when you were younger, then you get to a big age and then you realize, oh, oh, right. So, so that's what happens. It's much dangerous when you learn this by yourself. Yeah. Because it's not something you, yeah. like, you Google, mm. because it has to be triggered. Exactly. <laughs> by know, a situation that you're situation. in. And let me tell you, and that's a conversation for another day. There's so many things I'm learning in my big age about the body and, and all of these things, which I'm thinking, how was this information not available? And also just learning about things like business and investment and friendships. It's so many things come to you much later. In a way, maybe if you're a little bit older, whatever that is, there's a grace that maturity gives you to deal with them because you sit and reflect and you're like, oh, I mean, I didn't know that, but I guess now that I know that that's life, mm -hmm. I can choose what I want to do with this information. Is it going to set me off on a tangent of being really unhappy for the rest of my life? Is it gonna set me off on a tangent about being paranoid? Or is it just going to make me understand, hey, this is life. This is how life ebbs and flows and balances out. Sit with it. This is how things work. This is how things work. Is your, am I going to meditate and pray on it? Am I going to journal? Am I going to speak to my friends or a therapist? All of those things are healthy ways to be like, now that I know this, I want to do something about what it's making me feel. And that's when you get power. And that's when you get power. <laughs> mm. So the other bit, mm. I would say, in my big age is uh, never get or invest in a business that you barely know barely about. Know. Mm. Yeah. No yeah. matter how attractive it looks in terms of returns mm -hmm. and all that, if you don't understand it, it is bound to fail. Wow. So do your, either do your homework. Well, definitely do your homework. Yes. But don't rush into it. Don't rush into it because there are systems. And if any of those systems are, are not running, mm. then... You, you will fail. You know what I've realized also? People get into things, big things, like relationships or, or marriage or businesses. When you're going to school, when you're going to uni, for those who've you know, been, been lucky enough to be able to go through, there's so much homework and reading that you're doing when you're studying for a course that you want to graduate in. I wish we'd put that same energy in learning about and investing and studying about the relationship you're getting into. The people and things that we want in our lives. I love it. The people and things we want in our lives. We do not do that. We don't study that like it's a course. And I'm not equating it to this static thing, but we need to use the same energy. The reason why you were able to go through your courses and graduate is because you studied them and you understood the subject. And yet the biggest things that affect our lives, we're just like, oh my God, this feels great. This feels right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then halfway through, you're like, I was not sure about these modules. I was not sure about this course. So I think, in my big age, the best advice I would give is study whatever it is you want to pursue, whether it's someone, um, a line of work. A house. A house. <laughs> yeah, like mortgage or buying land. Like, study yeah. those things. Use that same energy that you would use to study because it makes all the difference. Yeah. Even if you're choosing, anywhere you're choosing, um, a place of worship that you want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Like I think, let's take time. I think as human beings, we're so used to rushing and instant gratification. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing I'm learning about disciplining your flesh, disciplining your mind, disciplining your body, is taking time to learn. 
What is it that's triggering? What is it that's making you want this person or this thing? Why do you want it so badly? What is, and I think sometimes when you want something so badly, I could be wrong, your flesh is, is, is more powerful than your mind and your spirit at that point. Absolutely. And you know you can't fully satisfy the flesh, huh? no matter how much you try. You'll keep going back to that thing and you will never be fully satisfied. Yep. But if you're aligned, mind, body, soul, spirit, all of that, and you fully understand and you fully looked at all the pros and cons, you're more likely to sustain through that business or through that relationship because you took time to, to study it. So that's, in my big age, that is the greatest lesson I've learned. It has reminded me of something. Yeah. <laughs> there is um, a philosophy mm -hmm. um, that I came to learn about. It's called the sunk coin fallacy. The sunk coin fallacy. Sunk coin fallacy. Oh, sunk coin fallacy. Yes. So, there are some times we feel that we are going to lose much considering the amount we have invested on someone or something. Let's say I've invested all my savings in a certain business and the business is not giving returns. It now has come back to eat into my income to, with the hope that it's going to sustain itself. But I'm very sure it's not able to give me returns within the time I'm able to sustain it. But I still want to fight for it. Mm. So sunk coin fallacy says, cut your losses and move on. It will cost much more... To keep chasing to keep, it if it's to not keep giving... keep chasing it. Yeah. Yet, you would just have to cut it. Mm -hmm. Don't get into debt. It has only taken your saving, right? So you mm. won't be into debt and move on. Rather than take a loan... Try to sustain it, get into debt, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, you're auctioned. Wow. Sunk coin fallacy. Yeah. So, in my big age, I've learned that. If mm -hmm. something is not working... Cut your losses. Take your losses. Take, take the L, losses. as they say. Yes. And move on. Now that Moss and I have shared our big <laughs> age, what is your big age testimony? No, I'd be really curious to hear what people have, have learned because... And I guess maybe there's something that's been beautifully designed... In that the more you live, the more you understand. And that's why we're saying in my big age. And then it's like, sometimes it's, how did I not know this? But even if you knew it then, you could never have accepted or understood it until you live through it and reflect. So I'd be very curious to hear people's big age conversations. And I feel like Moss and I will come back to this in my big age. In my big age. It's a series, people. It's a series, people. Look out. <laughs> it's a series.